Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my precious pack, and welcome back once more to Vega Conflict. So, what do we have in store for you today? Well, we have a tutorial, and it's going to be straight to the point and fairly simple. We want to get you up to the higher tiers as quickly as possible, but we also need to help your base advance. So, this tutorial set is going to be the beginning, essentially, to a small set of tutorials that will allow you to gather up the necessary Axis blueprints to build a Wall of Guns fleet to farm Time Token Riot fleets, specifically the build tokens, for the you now upgrade tokens for your modules, and things like that. Well, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the fleet. Okay. The first thing you're going to need to do is prepare this fleet right here because you're going to farm for a commander right away. And this is assuming you just finished the campaign, so you're going to need to, produ to produce a single ship. You're going to use the Dominion carry that you got from the campaign, along with a suppressor. The armor is not necessary, this was from a previous fitting I was using on it, but you're going to want the thrusters in favor of keeping it fairly lightweight instead of using fusion, or anything like that. But, the commander you're going to be farming for is Darren Clay. And he is dropped from the level 60 Iron Star Cruiser Fleets as a mission. You have to defeat 10 of them. And what you're going to do after that is you're going to take him and work on leveling him up. But he, I'll show you how to level him up quickly in the next video when you have to produce a different fleet. For now, you need to produce this fleet right here. Specifically this ship, just without the armor. And after that you're going to go ahead and you're going to produce this fleet and you're going to start farming in events. The objective of this tutorial video, well at the beginning of it, is for you to begin producing the ships necessary for the rest of the tutorial. And I'm going to show you the attacks both with this fleet against event fleets as well as with maxed out Durian Clay because he's going to be your primary goal and with the other fleet attacking the cruisers so you can do it for minimal to no repair time. But, the corvette is only a decoy and you don't even have to have weapons on it, it is simply to draw the enemy within the Aventail target into a very closed up area, clustered up, because the next build you're going to be using fusion thruster, volatile fuel, and manifold missiles to tear the fleet apart. And the reason we use Venoms instead of Rancors here is due to the additional firepower, the additional weaponry, and overall the additional durability. Now the durability doesn't matter that much because you're actually only going to be getting small boosts from Darren anyways. And your primary focus you need with him is the damage because you need to destroy or damage the fleet as heavily as possible before you lose the fleet. And all of the ships are the same fitting. None of them are applying stasis because the Cavaliers would just eat them alive if they were using stasis. So the primary goal is simply to kite the Aventail and destroy them to be able to farm easy event points. On average I was able to achieve 100,000 event points per fleet loss. So the only thing you're going to have to do with these fleets is keep up with maintaining your resources so that you don't run out. Now. The tactic for farming with a fleet like this is, with a single fleet commander, you're going to want three duplicate fleets of this setup. One corvette and five battleships of the exact same fitting, which means you're going to need three corvettes and 15 battleships, so you may want to get them started now. But the objective is, you're going to have one constantly back here repairing, one fleet constantly launched out traveling, and while it's traveling, you're going to be repairing the individual ships here, then when it's in combat, you're going to take control and you're going to follow the tactic I'm going to show off as soon as this, um, as soon as I'm done talking here. And you're going to make full use of the tactic and you're going to farm. And again, the reason that you're going to be using three instead of two is because you want one to always be on standby. And when the first fleet dies, transfer the commander to the secondary fleet, launch it, and start repairing immediately so you can actually begin attacking, farming, and rapidly gathering, so while you're repairing, you don't have downtime. You're constantly doing something to be able to advance. Okay, that's it. Now you know what you need to do. 
let's go ahead and I'm going to end the video here. So if you have any further questions or anything like that, feel free to ask below in the comment section. I will reply back as quickly as possible, especially if it is questions involving fittings or anything like that. The next tutorial video will be specifically dedicated to leveling up the fleet commander, Darren Clay, and obtaining the Liberator Destroyer along with the Eclipse Drivers from the base because you're going to need them for the Wall of Guns fleet that I used when I was a low level to farm time tokens for relatively no repair time. And I'll showcase that fleet as well so you can use it in a future tutorial after we've completed the other ones. And you're going to be using Durin Clay on the fleet you're going to be farming with on the outposts to be able to get the first set of the blueprints and things like that. At the same time, you're going to be ranking him up fairly quickly because you're going to be farming for the stuff anyways. You might as well get the ranks up. But that's it, everybody. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask below in the comment section. If you just want to say hi, hi. If you have any thing that you may need to say or that may be relevant to this tutorial, feel free to say so below in the comment section let everyone else know. But be safe out in the void, everybody. Happy hunting, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.